Welcome to today's video blog. Today we're going to interview head strength and conditioning coach and former NC2A athlete Matt Gersick. The questions I'm going to ask Matt are going to be in relationship to what it's like being one of two strength coaches for a university that has almost two dozen sports and 700 collegiate athletes. Matt was also a phenomenal athlete in college. He overcame horrendous injuries. He had completely destroyed his right knee while he was playing football in college to the point where they actually considered amputating the leg from the knee down before he was taken from the hospital by his parents directly to the Olympic Training Center physicians in Colorado Springs where they saved the knee, saved the leg. The fact that he was able to overcome those injuries and perform as well as he did is incredible. It's a testament to his drive and determination. So here's a couple questions with Matt Gersick. All right, question one that I had for Matt was when he writes programs for his athletes, he has a tendency to overshoot total volume by 10 to 15 percent of what he would ideally want. So if he can't control how hard they push, he tries to make it up by increasing the total volume of work. Here's Matt's answer. I purposely overshoot on volume because the intensity that the athletes uh, sometimes choose is not to my liking. It's not intense enough for the competition, so I overshoot on volume to compensate for their lack of intensity, their lack of training knowledge. Question two I had for Matt was, in the collegiate system when you have what you would think of as developing elite athletes, do they really know what 100% is, what 95% is, what 85% of their 1RM is, 3RM, 6RM? And is it hard to get them to perform exactly how you want them to perform every time? Oh, yes. They always come up short. Um, they really have no concept of uh, how to push themselves within, within 90 to 95% of what they're capable of. Um, their upper limit um, is, is basically untested all the time in their training. And they don't know what it's like to train to a threshold that's going to give them the best results. Next question I had for Matt was, even though he's a head strength coach with one assistant who is actually a grad assistant, so basically doing it for free or doing it for credit hours, what is it like coaching 700 athletes in almost two dozen sports? It's, well, I kind of refer to it as controlled chaos. It's, it's an absolute disaster all the time. I mean, it's, I try to basically educate athletes, um, and it's always an uphill struggle. They never want to learn things outside the weight room on their own to actually become better. Deal with you know the sheer numbers, um, just the actual figuring out all the programs for the 22 different collegiate sports, 700 plus athletes, in and of itself is you know 12 hours a day. And then on top of that, I have to add in you know technical sessions, um, and then you know making sure that they are taking care of things outside of the weight room, nutrition, um, some sort of resemblance of nutrition rather. Awesome. Thank you. In the final section of the video, I was able to attain some training footage from Matt from his current lifestyle. He's since retired from track and field, but he still loves to lift. These are his actual training videos. He does an 880, 23-inch box squat, which for him is about 4 to 5 inches above parallel. He also does a static start or a dead stop box jump. Both are very impressive. When I trained Matt as a collegiate athlete, I was the one that coached him back from his initial injury. His initial injury was a torn ACL, MCL, PCL. He detached his bicep femoris from the bone at the distal uh, insertion. He also had a graft from his patella ligament used to reconstruct one of his ligaments. So that created a fourth injury in terms of tendon damage. He also had nerve trauma and a lack of innervation to his tibialis anterior. And in that period of time, because the knee spun in 360 degrees, they had to question whether or not the vascular trauma from how long his leg was displaced would be a preventative for reconstruction. So he came back from all of these things to do what he's done, national champion in the shot put, etc. And you will see that even though we only show an 880 high box squat, uh, myself, I've watched Matt squat the parallel, 700 pounds, 320K. You know, obviously his power clean is 400 pounds. Vertical jump is very high, 39, 38, 
somewhere in that range. Uh, post-surgery, pre-surgery was much better. He, he also ran a 10-7, uh, 100 meters at the state championships, electronic time, uh, at a body weight of about 230 pounds. So this is some of Matt's stuff. Check him out.